Hi! A pleasant day to everyone. How are you today? Great! It is a pleasure to hear that you are all okay. But before anything else, I want to introduce myself. I am Teacher Abby, an elementary education student in Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology. For today, we are going to tackle about the two different seasons that we have here in our country. At the end of the lesson, you are able to first, describe the two different seasons in the Philippines. Second, define the two different seasons in the Philippines. Tell the importance of the two different seasons to the farmers and fishermen. Enumerate different activities that can be done during the two different seasons and appreciate the value of family bonding. Are you ready? But before we go to our lesson proper, let us have first a quick review. What is a weather? Correct! Weather is the day-to-day -day state of the atmosphere at a location and its shorter variation in minutes to weeks. It involves such atmospheric phenomena as temperature, humidity, precipitation, air pressure, wind, and cloud cover. How about climate? That is right! The weather condition that prevails over large area and for a long period of time is called climate. The climate of place remains more or less the same year after year. Different parts of the world have different types of climates. Wow! You are very impressive! Now, let us proceed to our topic which is the different seasons here in the Philippines. What is a season? A season is a subdivision of the year marked by changes in the weather, ecology, and hours of daylight. Why do you think is that Philippines has only two seasons? The Philippines is located near the equator countries near the equator receive direct sunlight. It is the reason why Philippines has only two seasons, the wet and dry season. Unlike the different countries, which have four different seasons. Let us talk about what is a wet season. Wet season is characterized by a pronounced rainy season with thunderstorms. Generally, daytime temperatures range from 30 to 36 degrees Celsius. It starts in June and peaks in July to September and then falls slowly down at the end of the year. This season is important for the farmers because it is the time for planting. What are the activities that can be done during rainy seasons? First, you can read books, write songs, stories and poems, watching televisions, play musical instruments, vlogging, blogging, surfing the internet, playing educational games, playing board games, and spend time with the family. Now, let us proceed to dry season. Dry season is characterized by hot and cloudless days. Between January and May, the climate is generally dry with occasional rain showers. During January to February, the air is cold and dry. It is important for the farmers because this is the time for harvesting, while the fishermen dry their caught fish during this season. The activities that can be done during dry seasons are go outing with the family, do recreational activities like hiking, swimming, and mountain climbing, do house cleaning, washing, and drying clothes. And you can also do gardening and you can improve your yards. Do you understand the two different seasons in the Philippines? That is good. Let us have an exercise. I will show you some pictures and identify if it is a wet or dry season. Is it clear? Let us look at this picture. When do you do this activity? Is it on wet season or dry season? Correct! Drying of clothes is done during dry seasons. How about this picture? Very good! We do recreational activities 
during dry season. How about this third picture? Excellent! We do this during wet season. How about this? Right! Spending quality time with our family at home is done during wet season. Let us look this picture. Harvesting is done in what season? Very good! It is done during dry season. Now for our last picture. Excellent! The farmers are planting during wet season. I am very grateful that you understand our topic. Again, what are the two types of seasons here in the Philippines? Very good! The two types of seasons in the Philippines are wet and dry season. Can you define what is a dry season? Correct! Dry season is defined as hot and cloudless days. Dry season is experienced between January and May. During this season, climate is generally dry with occasional rain showers. However, during January to February, the air is cold and dry. Dry season is very important for the farmers because this is the time for harvesting, while the fishermen drive their caught fishes during this season. Now, what is a wet season? That is right. Wet season is characterized by a pronounced rainy season with thunderstorms. Generally, daytime temperatures range from 30 to 36 degrees Celsius. This season starts in June and peaks in July to September and then falls slowly towards the end of the year. Wet season is very important for the farmers because it is the time for planting. Now, for your assignment, I want you to look for a family picture of yours that describes your favorite season. Thank you very much for your indulgence. I hope you have learned something from me. Always keep safe everyone. Bye!